We are with the incomparable and amazing Lisa Howard. Hi, Lisa, when is your show here at Feinstein's 54 Below? My show at Feinstein's 54 Below is Sunday, December 12th at 7 p.m. Is it a Christmas themed show? It is. <laughs> <laughs> it's called What Christmas Means to Me. I've even got my Christmas brooch. I on. see. I it's like she's festive. Yeah. Of all the Christmas songs that have been written. Yeah. And I'm going to include holiday songs. What is your favorite? What what means the most to you? Mm, oh, that's a really good question. What's my favorite one? I mean, I have so many for different reasons. I love Oh Holy Night. I mean, thrilling. I also love Karen Carpenter's um, Merry Christmas, Darling. Oh, I mean, that melts your heart. And, you know, have yourself a merry little Christmas. I'd say if I had if I, you know, pick several, those would be some of my top. Well, you're going to love my next question. Yeah. They say that eyes are the windows to the soul. Yeah. But I think songs are. If you had to choose a song or a series of songs that describes who Lisa Howard is, what are they? Wow. You should, I should have had these questions before. <laughs> this takes some prep. <laughs> no, actually, because that question should constantly change. And I think that musicians... We tend, I think it's how to get to really know a musician. Well, it's so funny that you mention that because there's a section in my show where I talk about stories being like gifts that are passed down. And it's like a present you get to open new each time, no matter how many times you've heard it. And um, one of the presents that I love to unwrap every time is metal art. Oh, I love that time. So it's, fun. It's, it's interesting that you kind of put it that way because that's um, something I do talk about much. No, I love that whole show. It's got some of my favorite music in it. Yeah, beautiful. Last time I saw you, you were doing the wedding musical that I can't think of its name right now. It should have been you. Ah, that would be it. <laughs> what have you been doing since then? Well, since it should have been you, I also starred as Tammy in Escape to Margaritaville. Right, I remember that. Which was very fun. Um, <clears throat> done, you know, a couple couple TV shows of guest spots. Like what? I was on The Good Fight and uh, Madam Secretary. You know, like little guest roles. Um, but more people see those, and so they true. can relate to you. From yeah, yeah. Um, what else? And then the pandemic happened. <laughs> Surprise! I know. So it's been a while, and actually, um, you know, after months of not doing much other than Zoom concerts, I was like, you know what? I've always wanted to do a Christmas show. Let me just write a show. And um, my musical director and composer, Michael Shai, we've been longtime collaborators, and he was like, well, if you're doing a Christmas show, we should do a Christmas album. And so I wrote the show first, and, you know, <clears throat> had friend, help from my friend Stephen Tomek, who's a writer. Mm -hmm. We wrote the show, and picked all the songs, and we spent this whole summer recording at oh, Matt's at, at Michael's um, studio. And so we have that. So this show is a celebration of the pandemic being over, kind of, and of my collaboration with Michael. And the song I'm going to sing today is an original of his. So, oh, nice. Yeah, so it's the one original on the CD and in the show. So when people come to see your <laughs> show, they'll be able to also pick up a CD. That's right. What a great Christmas gift. Hello, guys. Get this in your <laughs> mindset. Now, tell us when your show is again. My show is Sunday, December 12th at 7 p.m. And we look forward to seeing this.